Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. The season is spring. It's the time of year that the spoonbill in Oklahoma's Grand Lake migrate up the Neosho River for spawning. Today's adventure features a couple of trips in all kinds of conditions. Sean and I are in the boat with our guest Randy Flora from Frontenac, Kansas Police Department. Randy's caught a lot of fish in his days, but he's never landed an Oklahoma paddlefish. Come along today as we have lots of fun. It's time to study, learn, and share Spoonbill in Oklahoma. All right, 2015, first fish of the day, first fishing day of the year for us on Spoonbill. Well, let's make sure it's a Spoonbill this time. It's a Spoonbill. <laughs> Sean's got a spoon bill on. So, let me get a hold of this. Oh, why don't you take off for me? Okay, he wasn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to play it some more, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think we made him mad. What do you think? It's awake now, isn't it? <laughs> First spoonbill of 2015, baby. There you go. Waka waka. <laughs> Good job. John thinks this is the biggest one he's ever had on. It feels like a lunker. They're biting today, here on the river, as the cars whiz by on I-44. I warned you, they'll spank you now and then. As soon as you touch them, they get a little froggy. I guess. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that was good. I don't think that spoonbill liked the long arm of the law coming after him there. <laughs> He's going to get caught this time, though. <laughs> What do you think about that, Randy? You ready for one? Yeah, I am. I really think you got a folks. That was my second spoonbill I've ever landed in here. Good job, Randy. But not grilled it in. And now it's time for Randy to get more spoonbill landing practice. <laughs> there you go. Woo well, I should have just came with my rain suit and everything on, huh? <laughs> Those right. fish abusing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lesson today. I'm getting a lot of lessons, I think. <laughs> well, we got a rainy day, and the fish are still biting. Right at the end of the bridge, holding the current, the thunderstorm passes, we've got a little cat. I've got one downstream. It's pretty obvious. 
guys coming in the bars. That are hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it's a good thing I ate my Wheaties. <laughs> hey, you think it's going to rain today? Bad day of fishing beats a good day at work any day. Turn around, let's see. All right, good catch, Rob. A little bit of work on that I one, huh? I've worked so hard on one in my life, but it was that, that current that was beating us up so bad. And uh, we couldn't go downstream with them like we normally do with this rainfall. But, uh, whew, what a deal. I lost my weight on that one, but... Uh, I think you lost more than your weight. <laughs> oh! My goodness, that's a bigger fish. Well, yeah, that's got a much bigger 30 tail. Pounds, 35 pounds. Oh! Where are you going? Going around the bridge. Randy's learned not to put on that glove too soon. <laughs> <laughs> You got a lot of bigger target casting across the river than you do trolling. If you think about it, the fish are long, so if you're, if you're casting across, you got a lot more fish to hit. And we had him up here once and he seen the boat and took off with him. There's a green over here. That's a big fish. What's your estimate right now? 40. Might I'd be bigger take, than that. I'd say 50 some pounds. Oh, you made it mad now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is really cutting into me and Randy's fishing oh, yeah, time. You're catching all these fish, John. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just got the lucky seat today. <laughs> now, there's some people that watch shows like this and think we've got a boat around the corner here that's hooking them on for us. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. Now, they do have someone traveling to take them on. Not true. This is my first time. There's no divers down there. Put the cuffs on in there, Randy! <laughs> Holy man, that's a good one. Oh, watch out! Nope, watch out for the hook. That is a big one. Oh, All right, let's see what he, what he is. I don't know. You're going to play that one. You're going to spank that one? <laughs> Ever been a 50? 50 some, 50 plus. Yeah, that's a good 50. Good job. Thank you for landing here for me. <laughs> it's been a good day down here by 44 Bridge. Even though we got a little wet, a little lightning, you can't beat it. I mean, this is what we came for. Now tell me, Sean, how many times have you driven over this bridge before you knew these kind of fish were under it? Much. So, people, when you drive over this bridge, you think of us down here doing what we can to clean out the spoon bill. <laughs> he probably, he may be close to six. Oh, that's a big fish. I don't know, but he's a big one. He's, he's up to your chin anyway in from, from the floor, yeah. I think he might be 70. Let's keep him. All right, let's get the duct tape out. Told you this bridge under here at Crowman Throwing Across was the best, I think. What you got, Rob? Could be the best one I ever had on. Try 
releasing in the water. He's hooked good. You got him mouth hooked. I mean, we're sitting under the bridge just casting straight out and catching the heck out of them. It's a big one, Randy. I don't know. It's a dandy. I mean, me and Randy both couldn't pick him up. You know how big Randy is. He's... It's huge, man. I mean, it's huge. I've caught the heck out of them today. I mean, one after another after another. They're in here thick. Throw it back. <laughs> we... We've had a good day. We gotta get Randy on some fish here. Rob's got hooked up here under the 44 bridge again. Didn't have much line out this time. That's the way mine was. By now, the worst of that thunderstorm has passed on by. We're still hooking up in the current under the bridge at I-44. One after another today. I think Rob's arm's getting tired. Bigger? I don't know, he took a pretty nice run on the surface. Little female, good catch. Handle your fish, Randy, handle your fish. That's how you do it. Your drag a little bit on there, the star drag. Yeah. That's a fish. Keep your line tight. Don't let it go out like that. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, I got me one. Oh, yeah! Right. yeah. <laughs> Is this the Here's best one you ever had on? Uh, yes, definitely. Oh, oh fighting bear! Fighting fight bear! Oh! Listen, you're right. Keep your line tight, brother. That was right under the bridge, wasn't it? Woo! Yep. Yeah. He's already broken somebody off yeah. today. Look at that. So we don't use two hooks on our no. legs. Oh! Shit. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I, I got him. Be in the boat and then get back I got out. him, son. You got him hooked. Yeah. Whatever that happened there. That's... You get to land him again. Yeah. Let me get a picture of that one. <laughs> First ever paddle fish. Let me take a picture. Hold yeah, on. I'd like to have one. Hand so up and take a picture. With I could send him to Hand my up. son. Watch. First ever. So what do you think about these paddle fish? <laughs> it's fun. You don't know for sure if you're in one. You might be in a log, but once you get him going, he, give me a smile. How could you not smile after catching <laughs> a fish like that? Oh, brother. Good job. Right. Probably on, Randy. Biggest fish I've caught. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> look look at him throw that great big one back. Yeah. But so far, that's the best one you ever had on. Yeah. Huh? I know what it feels like. Yep. You get used to it. Well, maybe. I thought it was a log. And then when it pulled me back, about jerked me out of the back of the boat. <laughs> I, I knew it was a fish then. All right. That's great. Thank you. That's fun. And I got it. That's the Oklahoma pole bender right yes, there. Yes, it was. Coming up next, we're joined by the other boat. And somehow, we can't keep the paddle fish away. More for you today on Season Chasers. Extreme environments, 
can cause a spontaneous change in DNA, resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of Gator. When it's time to buy a better boat, Albers is the place to get your best deal on a new Tracker or Nitro. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas, trade up to a new Tracker, ready for the lake, powered by Mercury Outboards. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Your ticket to the great outdoors is Tracker from Albers Marine. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Tracker and Nitro Boats Dealer, North Highway 69, Arma, Kansas. They're counting down the days till spring at Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. Now's the time to prepare your garden for the spring weather ahead. Blue Ribbon has hundreds of varieties of top quality garden seed so you can get started. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat, and this is the goofy goat right here. Now that's, that's teamwork, boy. We got Randy and Albert in the other boat. Randy's hooked up. Randy's got him a fish. Let's see what he's got here. This Randy got his big one in. It's tagged off on the side of the boat, and Albert hooks one. What you got, Albert? Uh, yep. Hopefully a, a lamb. <laughs> He's tagged him up with you, didn't That's the best one you've ever had on? <laughs> best one today. in the boat. What do you say, Albert? Right on. Put the right in the mouth. Is that a tagger? I have to keep the run feeding him. Watch the wave, give us our skill. As the traffic speeds over the I-44 bridge, Miami, Florida is connected with another big spoon bill. Got started. Put the line back in. Randy just caught one. I got another one. It's not a very big one. Here's this not a super big one. Ooh, Pretty big one. Bad. Ain't right in the mouth. Sure did. Ain't bad. <laughs> That's pretty fat. We got scales too. What's that mean? He's weighing. Oh. Him in the mouth too, huh? <laughs> you gonna weigh him? Back. 
<laughs> that one looked like it got well, it got it right in the chin for a change. Yeah, he had him right. I'll never do that in the kiss one. Well, we'll try to catch a, a keeper. Sean's got one in the boat. Randy and Albert already have one that they've tied off. Uh, Randy and I have each caught one today, but uh, not one we want to take home. <laughs> so uh, we'll get our hooks back in the water, and there's some down here. We just saw that one roll before mine hit, so what do you say? Let's catch up bigger. Good thinking. Now, is this the best one you ever had on? Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Oh, Keep your line tight. You just never know. Oh, God. Heck. Yeah. Come let on. any slack in the line. You're letting. Yeah, don't let oh. slack in the line at all. Keep it tight the whole time Keep with that barbless hook. Right. I am, boys. No. Oh. I'm a rookie. I bring him oh. up. That's a good one. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got this one by mad. I got him by the tail. <laughs> the tiger. By the tail. Oh, he oh. ain't done yet. He's a tiger. Oh, oh boy. Geez. Look at him go. Here. Oh, he might be a tiger for me. Oh, oh. Hold on to it. I got him. Hook's free. Oh, hold him up. Let's see it. Oh, oh geez. Let's oh. see there. <laughs> That's a dandy. Oklahoma pole bender. That's what I've been becoming. Job, is that what man. you were dreaming about last night? Yeah, well, it's a little bigger, but you know what? I dreamed about it. Gave you the magic pole. Yeah. What do you think? Think he's a tagger? What do you? Or not? I would, I would probably keep going if I was you. Uh, All right. A lot bigger one well, than I, that. I didn't know if that's what you We're not done yet. We got a little time. <laughs> he was lively. He's a live one there. I see what you said about hitting him in the tail. I'm telling you. They fight more, don't they? Woo! Good job, Randy. I'm not going to have to do any bench <laughs> press tonight. So are your arms the same length now? As <laughs> <laughs> when you started? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's fun. I feel like I've been in an arm wrestle tournament at Bootlegers like I was years ago. Oh. Now, how does this compare, Randy, to wrestling that bear? Well, it's getting close. <laughs> Get close. Get more out. Oh, that's a big oh, one. Oh yeah, look here. Oh. Oh, buddy, put it in the back. I think I got me a tag one. Who's got who here? I was getting ready to say, I don't think I let go of his like that, did I? Oh, that is He's better than that other. That's the biggest one I've caught. That's the best one you ever had on? That's the best one I ever had on. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, he's heavier than, oh, yeah, he's heavier than the other. Smile. <laughs> That's the best one I've had on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good Extra good. Get your paddle fish number out and I'll oh, fill you out a deal good. here. Oh no, don't be, don't, don't get tough now, big boy. Lay him down in here. Oh. He's a pretty good one. He probably, what, 40 pounds, you said? Yeah, I think so. Maybe 45. We turn in our harvested spoonbill to the staff of the Oklahoma Paddlefish Research Center near Miami. They collect your spoonbill alive oh. at the river and transport the fish to the research center in these aerated trucks. They sort out the males and females, processing the females first. This time of year, females are full of eggs, and if processed correctly, 
The roe makes some of the world's best and most expensive caviar. Sean's keeper is a female, and it could yield up to 15 to 20 pounds of fresh spoonbill eggs. It's legal for the state of Oklahoma to harvest the eggs, fillet the fish, and then we get to keep the trim meat. State egg sales are what funds the research center, its staff, and all their excellent equipment. It's a win-win situation all the way around. Any predictions now? Well, we already know what mine is. <laughs> 59. It's really good. Yeah. Didn't quite break the 60 mark, but it's the biggest one I've ever cut. It's a big one. Today, our group gets first, second, and sixth place on the daily top 10 leaderboard. And let's start with Albert over here. What size is yours? 54.8. Nice one. 55.7. 59.7, biggest of the day. 38 pound. 38? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's your first one, and you guys, yeah, some of you guys are tagged out already, and what My a first bunch. one, it felt like it was 100 pounds when it got in the curve. <laughs> <laughs> and they all make you wet, don't they? Oh, Every well, one of them gets a got in our boat, did. 38 pounds is great for a first keeper spoonbill. Now Randy is a spoonbill veteran. It's the best one I ever had on. <laughs> it's Oklahoma pole benders, boys. Did you get your tag renewed for May? <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh, fishing illegally. I can't worry about it now, sir. <laughs> Keep your line tight. Trying, son. They're in here, man. This hard on no man's back. Just in the oh, so. <laughs> Come on, son, get him up here. Woo! I'm tagged That's out. A big one. I'm tagged That's a out, good brother. One. A scar on that thing. Yeah. He too big for anybody else to catch, son. Good one. Worker, worker. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.